and thinking about change. What do these images mean mean to you? I, I mean, when I first saw this, I, my first thought was Jacob's ladder. You know the story in the Bible with the where, where the angels come down from from heaven uh, on in in, uh, in Jacob's dream. Um, but these are the ladders, actually different kind of ladders. I think these are the ladders to uh, to ambition and to to change and to achievement. And when you look at the ladder on the right, you can see, in, in principle, you might get there faster, but they're very, very big steps, and it all seems too difficult. And the person standing at the bottom can't even reach the first step. Um, and this is what we mean, I think, by what, what I said in the first session, incremental change, small steps, taking small steps towards change. And this is absolutely vital in anything that you do. When things seem to be so difficult and so hard uh, and unachievable, try to break it down, try to get down into the small steps. What can you do that is actually possible? And I'm going to come back to this picture at the very end in a few minutes. I want to mention this. I'm going to do, go through this quite briefly, but we can. You know, I, I, we, we do whole whole days and weeks of workshop on 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 these types of things. But something we just call the three C's. It's easy to remember: creativity, critical thinking, and collaboration. And these, and I said at the beginning of the of the first session, uh, I wasn't going to. I was going to talk about values in a rather broad sense. And so these are not exactly values, but they are ways of behaving. They are skill sets that are fundamental to leadership uh, and to leadership skills. By creativity, we are talking about using your imagination to explore the world in new ways, to create something original and to express yourself. Critical thinking, the ability to analyze and evaluate the world in order to form judgments, develop ideas and think for yourself. We've already talked quite a lot about that in the last couple of weeks. And also we've talked about the importance of working with other people, collaboration, connecting effectively with others and using the skills and abilities of different people towards a common purpose. And, you know, those, the, those different skills, the diversity of skills, the different thinking, so, so important to, to, to have around you and to know where to find it. And those impact on all of these three things that, that affect us. They affect our, our lives in general, the work that we do, and the society in which we live. And obviously, by developing those skills in all three of those spheres, in the middle sits the person with the leadership skills and with the ability to create change. And as I said, that doesn't only mean the leader per se, it may mean all of us. And there's just a sample of some of the other types of skills that go around those three, creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, but a whole host of other things that go with them. And you can connect up it's quite interesting if you have that kind of and uh, and we will make you know we can make these things available through the uh, uh, through the facilitation team, but um, you know if you if you think about these, you could connect up any two of those, and you'll find that there's a, a valid connection and that one supports the other, and we need to grow as many of these as we can. We're not good at all of them. It'll be a different mixture. For, for each of us of what we think of as important or what we think we should and could develop. But grow one and you grow them all because they're all interconnected. So it's like the roots of a tree. And we talked about the tree a few weeks ago, the roots of that tree that give you your sustenance, the things that give you your nourishment. Um, if you grow one part, then the whole tree will, will grow. Okay, here's a question. Which balls do you put in the circles in order to add up to 30? Any quick answers in the chat? Who's good at maths? Not only about maths, by the way. All 
I guess it may take you a little while. I haven't got any sweets that I can give virtually to people, to the person who gets the first uh, correct answer, but if somebody gets the correct answer, they get a, a they get praised. None, says Chiropa. No, it's not the right answer. No, Hazel, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not none. There is an answer. I'm going to give it a minute. Use your curiosity. 15 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5. Yes, but you've only got three. That's fine. It works, but you've got four. You've got to do it with three balls. Nine, thirteen, and seven. No, that makes twenty-nine. You've got to make thirty. I love this kind of problem solving because um, this really tests the creative thinking. Uh, ah, now go well done, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon is on the right lines there. It's on the right lines. That's correct. He has got the answer. Brandon, you get the praise today. You get the 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 the, the best, um, the quickest and creative thinker of the day. 11 plus 13 makes 24, plus six equals 30. 11 plus 13 plus six. Well done, Brandon. It's the way you look at it. Look at problems from different sides. Be creative, be curious. It isn't obvious, it isn't always the way that it looks at first sight. So sorry, that was a bit tricksy, that, uh, that puzzle, but um, well done. Creativity is looking where everyone else is looking and seeing what no one else can see. I like this definition of creativity. I think it's a good one. <laughs>